This is a brief tutorial on how to set up an FCPS Edmodo account as well as join a group. One thing new for us in FCPS now is that we have created our own FCPS domain. So when you're logging into Edmodo, please begin the web address with fcps.edmodo.com. It's okay if you use www. If you're inside FCPS networks, you will be redirected to this domain. But if you're outside and doing this from home, you will still be able to access everything and everything will function as normally, so you won't have to worry about that. So in order to get started, we need to click on the button that I'm a teacher. If you have never created an Edmodo account, you will need your school code. And your school code will be sent to you via email. So you'll type your school code into this box here. You'll select whether you're Mr., Mrs., Ms., Doctor, and so on first name, last name, your FCPS email, and a password. Please make sure the password is something you can remember. You do have to check the obligatory you agree to the terms of service and then you click the sign up button and you'll be logged into Edmodo after that. If you already have an Edmodo account, just type your your email address that you use to sign up for it and your password and you'll be able to log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to join a group. Over on the left hand side below your name, you'll see that there is a groups column which lists all of the groups that you are part of. To see all of your groups, you click the show all button and you'll see them all listed in the middle of the screen. To join a group, you want to click on the little plus symbol and choose join. A join group box will show up and you'll want to type the group code for your particular group. This will be emailed to you separately, and when you're done, you'll just click Join. Once you've joined the group, you'll see your group listed in the left-hand side of the screen. In this case, I'm joining the Theater Arts PLN. Once you click on the group, you'll be taken to the group, and the postings that are in this group will be displayed here. You can change your group settings by clicking on the little gear up here, and coming down to your group post visibility. It's very recommended that you keep the button checked for send email SMS updates because that will allow you to get alerts when somebody posts something into your group. So we'll go up to the upper right hand corner and you'll see the word me and then when we click on that we can change the settings so that we know which alerts we're going to get. In the middle you have the opportunity to upload a picture or choose one of the icons that they have listed for you. In the left hand side under email and text updates if I click that I can choose to receive email or text updates. I've selected to choose text updates but you could choose to get it via email as well. If you choose the text message you have to enter your cell phone number and your provider. One of the things that we are doing now is recommending certain things be sent. Because Edmodo allows you to pick and choose what groups that you can get alerts from, it's now recommended that we check alerts and check notes because now anything new posted will come to you and you can choose not to get alerts from any particular group by going to that group, clicking on the gear and unchecking the box that says email and text alerts. I also recommend that we get direct message alerts, replies, as well as connection requests. Connection requests are like friends on Facebook where you can begin to build connections to other teachers. You won't be able to send them a direct message unless you are connected with them in advance. Once you've selected every everything, click on Save. Once you've saved your updates, you can get back to your group by going back to the Home button. finding your group in the list of groups and clicking on the group name and then you can begin participating in the group.